Hello my fellow scratchers. This video is the last part of our ascending order series in which we cover how ascending order script works. So let's get into it. In case you forgot how this program works, let me explain it. First you enter random numbers like I said 80. So guys, I have entered the number in no specific order. Now let's press arrange. As you can see guys, now it arranges them in ascending order. So this is our basic program. So I'll explain this whole function of the ascending order. First, let me tell you how this works. So guys, let's start. So here is the first alliteration. For example, the user input is 1, 4, 2, 3. And the index of the first number is 4. So in the list, the first number value will be 3. And we'll create another variable, name it second number. And the index of the second number will be 3, which is right here. And the value present in the location, number 3, is 2. Now, we will compare first number and second number. So, if we compare them, 3 is greater than 2. So, the condition will be true. So, it will swap these two numbers. Like this. So, 2 will be here and 3 will be right here. Now, now the second number index will be 3 minus 1. It will subtract it by 1. So, the index of the second number will be 2, which is the value 4. And the first number will be 2 because we swapped them. As always, the first number will remain the same. Now, we'll check. Is 2 smaller than 4? The condition will be false. So, it will just go on. It will not swap them. Now, it will compare. It with 1. As you can see guys, 2 is greater than 1. So the condition will be true. Then that means it will swap these two numbers. Now the first number will be 1. And it will go on like I explained it for 2. And you might be wondering what will happen because 1 is the smallest, smallest of all these numbers. Well, we will create an if statement if index of second number is 0 then it will copy the first number which is 1 to the ascending order list and it will delete it from the user input list so the updated user input list will be 2 4 and 3 now guys let's go to the second alliteration so guys the first number location will decrease by 1 so it will be 3 and in the user input list item 3 of the list is 3 now the second number location will be 4 as previously we will compare these two as you can see guys the condition is false so it will just go on now the first number will remain the same and the second number will be 2 so the condition will be true and then it will swap these two numbers. Now again, 2 is smaller than all of these numbers. So condi the condition will remain false. And then the number 2 will be copied to the ascending order list. The user input list will update. Which means it will only have two items. 3 and 4. Now let's go to the final equation. So the first number index or you can say location will now again decrease. At 2 and the second number will be 3 now we will compare these two numbers so 4 is greater than 3 the condition will be true so it will have these two numbers and 3 is smaller than 4 so the condition will be false and then the 3 number will be copied to the ascending list and deleted from the user input list so now you guess the updated user input list will be now let's go to the last alliteration. I accidentally said that earlier. So don't worry. So now we know that the number of items in the list will have the same amount of alliterations. So the final alliteration is pretty simple. So there is only one 
one number left. So we'll just copy it to the ascending order list. We'll attack that if the first number location is one, then we'll just directly copy to the ascending list, and there's nothing to do with it. So this will be so this will be the end of of the program. So the ascending list will be one, two, three, four. And remember that this program reads from the left, not the right side. Now guys, let's build our code. So guys, I have deleted this ascending order block that was present right here. And I have also deleted all its variables that I initialized here. So that means we will start from scratch. So create a custom block. Name it sort in ascending order. And check that box of run without screen refresh. So bring it in some free space. Now guys, you will create two new variables. First number location and second number location. So we'll initially set these two to zero zero. Now instead of gi giving a loop a specific value to stop, we'll use a forever loop and we'll use stop the script block to stop all of all of the ascending order function. Cause that's much e easier than defining a value and making a counter variable. So drag a forever loop white here and we will we want to wait for one frame so that we can see it happen now guys let's name our list name it ascending order now we will tag that if initiation now guys will drag an if then else statement and as I explained earlier we'll check that if second number is less than first number then we want to swap these two. So guys let's check that if statement. And guys we will drag these two set blocks of first number location and second number location right here. And we will set the first one first location to the length of your number list copy. And the other one will be first number location minus one. So this will be the second last item of the list. Now I'll do the if statement later. For now, we'll just continue with the else statement. So we just want to skip that one. Change second number location by negative one. Now we want to create a new custom block. Swap. As the name represents, this will swap two numbers in the list. Well, this is pretty easy. First, we want to store a value. Well, We'll create a variable name it store number. We'll set that initially to zero. And we'll set the store number to item first location of your number list. Now we have a block name replace item. So now we can easily replace those. So we'll replace it by item first number location with item second number location. I'll duplicate this part, but this time we'll do second number location right here. 
so item that was present in the first number location doesn't exist so we store that value in the store number so we can just replace this for second number location also remove this item of your number list copy and we'll just put the store number right here and change these two to your number list copy so guys our swap function is done so we can just call a swap function right here now let's give this a test so show all these three lists arrange them and run our program i'll enter thing seven Now guys, we press arrange. Well, nothing, sh nothing should happen because I didn't call this function. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's click this block. As you can see, guys, it doesn't work because we didn't stop this script. Well, we need to do a lot of a lot of coding before we stop the script. We need to check if it is the smallest number in the list. Well, in that case, we'll check if second number is equals to zero. So if second number location is equal to zero, then add the item in the first number location to the ascending order list. And we'll just delete it from the your number list call. Now we'll just define a new first number location. Well, for that, just drag this set block right here, and we'll just take this length of block and set it to your number list. Call. Now under the when second number location is equals to zero inside it will you use another if then statement. Well if first number location is equals to one as I explained earlier it will just copy to the second ascending order list and it will stop the whole program. So we'll just drag and add block right here add first item first number location of your number list copy then we'll just we can just stop the script now beneath this if statement we also want to set the second number location variable so we'll just set the second number location first number minus one so guys for, for now we'll just edit this and uncheck that box of run without screen refresh because we are doing a delay of one frame right here and let's attach this block and run our program i'll just enter random values And let's click arrange. Mm, the program is it working? Let's check. And that means the first number location isn't changing. As you can see, guys, the first number location is six. So, guys, after a bit of tweaking and finding, I found out that instead of setting the initially setting the second number location to first number location minus one i accidentally use second number location variable so let's convert it to first number location now the rest is all okay so guys let's give this another test now press arrange 
as you can see guys but the value is same and i found another error in this program well these are just mistakes we'll just delete this from your number list copy we don't want to delete it from the ascending order list now guys let's press arrange as you can see guys after all this mess it arranges them in ascending order well initially we want to we want to delete the ascending order list at first so that it doesn't go over and over again so we'll just duplicate this one and delete all of ascending order list so guys now let's clean up this mess which means organizing these lists and hiding these variables there is no need to show the your number list copy we'll just drag the your number list ascending order list right here let's increase their length that you can see them better now guys let's run our final program i'll enter random values and it can also detect negative values like negative 5 etc etc and also decimal numbers Now guys, let's press arrange. As you can see guys, it is arranging them in ascending order. And it can also arrange alphabets. Like I enter G, K, J. Now guys, let's press arrange and check that it works. It arranges the alphabets in order like a c d g e h i j k k o it doesn't put it randomly guys i thank you so much for watching my video if you want to learn about the algorithm of arranging list and sending order which means that how did i make this button by editing in scratch paint editor how i take input from other well from the user you might want to check out the part one of this video so this was this is the end of the ascending order series i hope you guys like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out any of my videos i'll see you in my next video guys bye